Hello YouTube, what is up? I've got a new video here with a kind of an unusual battle setup. Anyway, I uh, think you might have heard of the guy whose teams we've based our Pokemon off of. Uh, he's fairly famous. I think he goes by the name of like uh, Red or something. Anyway, uh, so I go ahead and I'm uh, just facing a decently good friend of mine. I fought a few different times. He leads with his Espeon, and I lead with Red at you. And I'm like, yes, I can smack it with the extreme speed. This is actually an event Pikachu. So I just lead with the extreme speed, knowing he's probably uh, either going to go for something offensive, which will just destroy Pikachu, or he's going to be a light screen or a flex set. Turns out he is the defensive build, which is awesome, because now I can threaten with another extreme speed, but I don't want to overpredict this early. He may just decide to go for the psychic and kill off Pikachu. But he does switch and go and goes into his uh, Venusaur. There's really nothing I can do to it, uh, so I just hit him with another extreme speed, and I'm actually going to switch out this turn because I'd like to save Pikachu for later. And Redichu's already done some really good damage, so this is not a bad place to be. Uh, it's a good start. Anyway, I have to switch out. I do not want to take on uh, his. Venusaur head on with the Pikachu and so he goes and subs up. He knows I'm gonna switch and with good reason So he puts up his sub and I'm just gonna go ahead and fire off a psychic. It is super effective and uh, This is an offensive build Espeon unlike his which is a defensive build and so I'm gonna smack it. He can't use the uh, Sleep powder or anything because of the fact that well, I am a Psychic type with magic bounce although I'm not sure what Psychic has to do with that. But anyway, he goes for the Hidden Power, and uh, that's going to do a little bit of damage, but not really all that much. And he knows now that the uh, light screen is down, he really doesn't want to stay in and try to take me on. Uh, his Black Sludge means he's a bulkier set, and he's actually going to withdraw here and go into his Blastoise. Now, this is one of the Pokemon that I want to get out of the way first. This and Espeon. If I can get rid of those two, I can potentially sweep with just Espeon which would be amazing. So I go ahead, hit it with the Hidden Power, or the Psychic, and that uh, takes a good chunk of damage, but not nearly as much as I'd like because of that reflect, or the light screen, so I'm actually going to switch here. Uh, kind of worried that this thing might be a build that I may not be able to take on, so I go into Venusaur knowing that this thing uh, takes the water attacks really well, but I actually decided to be like a ninja and dodge that completely. Uh, and this is an, another offensive build uh, Pokemon, and with the chlorophyll. So I go for the sunny day, that means I'm going to outspeed anything on his team now with chlorophyll, and that's going to be a big problem for him. Um, unfortunately for me, this is a special build as well, so that light screen is starting to be a real pain in the neck, but I can take two hidden powers after the uh, Giga Drain anyway, and so I'll be able to kill off his uh, Blastoise with two hidden power, I do believe, or two Giga Drains, and so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to go for the Giga Drain. <sighs> Goodness. Wow, what's wrong with me? Anyway, uh, sap some HP. Get back up to over half, I do believe. Yes, I do get to the, around the halfway point. And he does go for the Roar. I guess he was kind of worried about the Solar Beam. But uh, doesn't happen. And it drags me into Snorlax. I really don't care. So this Snorlax is actually a very interesting build. Um... Uh, and I'm going to go for the crunch and just kind of hope I can fish for the defense drop. Because a couple crunches, one with the defense drop would be more than enough. The light screen wears off now, which is great. He goes for the hydro pump. The sun is still up, so it's going to do pitiful, pitiful damage. And this Snorlax shows just why it's such a tub of lard or blubber or whatever you want to call it. It just completely tanks that. And crunch does some decent damage. And I do like this crunch. Uh on Snorlax because it covers a lot of the things it can't hit otherwise, uh, namely ghosts. Um, anyway, go for another crunch, nearly knocks it out, and he goes for another roar, which means I can safely switch in to Charizard, and this thing is a monster. Solar power, modest nature, with the life orb, and fire blast. This is all about raw power, and that's exactly what uh, Charizard has is raw power and a lot of it. So I go for the Air Slash and there's no way it's surviving. Even if he had the uh, light screen up, he still would have died. But of course, I'm going to lose a good amount of HP to all that. Uh, solar power's not going to help me out, Eddie. 
He's going to go back into Espeon because he does have the hidden power. I'm guessing Electric or Rock. I'm not sure, but one of the two. I'm probably guessing Electric because then he can hit both Charizard and uh, Blastoise for super effective. And it does a ton of damage, but then I'm going to smack it with a Fire Blast and it is going to die to the Fire Blast. Uh, it does mean I do lose Charizard in the process, but I completely demolish his Espeon, which is one of the Pokemon I really wanted to get out of the way so my Espeon can sweep. Uh, so Solar Power is actually going to take me out, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but it does some good damage, so I can't complain too much. He goes into his Venusaur, and I figured uh, my Venusaur with the Chlorophyll will be faster than anything else on this team. And I could Magic Bounce the uh, Sleep Powder back, which would have been absolutely amazing, but I didn't think of it really, which was really stupid of me. Um, that and the fact I didn't want to risk uh, Espeon getting smacked because it was an offensive Espeon. And, uh, anyway, I get put to sleep by the Sleep Powder, and that is unfortunate, because I don't really have a recovery way of this Pokemon outside of Giga Train. Because my item is the Heat Rock, I believe is what it's called, and he goes for the Hidden Power. I'm guessing it's maybe Psychic, because it does a ton of damage. Drops me down to 8 HP, so it's like, ouch, that really hurts. The sunlight does fade, uh, my... Opponent's gotten good HP back with Black Sludge, but I wake up this turn and smack it with a Sludge Bomb, and that is perfect because it means uh, Venusaur managed to take out the opposing Venusaur, uh, managed to allow me to get my Charizard to uh, take out the Espeon, and uh, I'm feeling very confident at this point. He does go into his own Pikachu at this point, and I'm like, well, I'll let him kill my Venusaur because it's got a measly 8 HP. No reason to try to save it, and I don't really want to uh, switch in anything to a Hidden Power or whatever it is. So, Hidden Power knocks out uh, Cannon, the Venusaur, and I go into Infolex, because I got revenge on this thing, and there's no way Pikachu's going to handle taking revenge. He goes for the Thunder Wave, I don't care, I'm a Chesto Resto set. Yes, Chesto Resto set with revenge. Um... It sounds insane, but it's actually an awfully fun set, and it's actually designed to uh, just kind of kill anything that manages to kill me, if I get the opportunity to switch it in. It hits, and almost takes Pikachu out, but it turns out this Pikachu does not have a Light Ball, and is a defensive uh, status infliction build. Because he shows he's got the Teeter Dance, so now I'm paralyzed and confused. but. I do get the crunch, I don't hit myself in the confusion, which is nice, and that means Pikachu is very much dead. So, uh, that's good. Uh, and I don't care about the paralyzation, as he'll see later, but he switches into his own Snorlax, and I go, this is perfect, I can bring in my Blastoise, which is designed to kill off about every Snorlax that known to man, uh, because it's got the Aqua Ring, it's got uh, the Surf, so it can do some damage, stab damage, uh, it's physically bulky. You see how little damage that does? It does pitiful, pitiful damage. And uh, does about... It does less than 30 after leftover. And I got the Aqua Ring. Uh, I got Refresh to take out the status effects as they arise, which is great. So if he tries to body slam me to death, it won't work. And uh, if he tries to sap boost, I've got Haze. So he goes for the Belly Drum. And I, I was snickering here because I even told him, you're going to hate me. And... Uh, then I did something incredibly stupid. I accidentally hit Refresh. Yes, so I'm going to lose Blastoise to a plus six uh, Earthquake, I believe. Which is incredibly, incredibly annoying because... Ah, I could have completely walled this Blastoise, or this uh, Snorlax with Blastoise and then swept the rest of his team. But no, I hit Refresh. Refresh! I could have just hit the... Ah, oh, well. I was pretty upset with me. I've never done that before, except on Pokemon Online, and I usually cancel before then. But that means I lose Blastoise, and that is pathetic. So I'm going to have to go into Pikachu, smack it with the uh, Brick Break, which I've actually learned I absolutely love it on this thing. So I go back into Redichu and uh, smack it with the Brick Break. And yes, that is kind of a uh, nod to the legend of Red, if you will. Um, so, Redichu manages to take out Snorlax with a well-placed Brick Break. And even if he had been at full health, I'm fairly sure I would have been able to kill it. But then he goes into his Charizard, and I'm thinking, uh, 
I get greedy and I just go and go for the thunder punch, hoping I can kill this thing before it kills me, ignoring the fact it has 100 base speed and I only have 90. So he kills me. I should have just gone for the extreme speed, but whatever. Um, I'm still just fine. I've got the retaliate on Snorlax. I've got the rest on Snorlax, and I've also got Espeon, so it's not a big deal. I can just go into Espeon. I'll outspeed it easily because my 110 base speed and uh, the speed investment I've given it. Smack it with the uh, Psychic um, and maybe take it out. Not quite. I get the special defense drop, which is useless, of course, because Charizard doesn't have special defense anyway. And um, he's going to kill me with an Earthquake because of my offensive build. And uh, that is it for both Espeon and Charizard. So it's a double down, and I still have my uh, Snorlax with the Revenge, the Thick Bat, and uh, the rest. So, great game. And uh, it would have been really nice to have that uh, Blastoise survive. But, yeah, uh, I do want to also mention I have a very special piece of hardware coming in where I should get the HD videos. Anyway, later.